Hi, this is Chuck Martin of the AI Summit in New York City. And I'm happy to say I've got with me from Chevron's strategy and innovation lead. Welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. So Sarah, tell me where does AI and data fit in, in the energy industry? Oh, it fits everywhere, Chuck. So if you look at the integrated value chain, data and AI belong in every component of that value chain. So how? So let's, let's talk about energy transition. We all know the future of the energy industry is low carbon. AI and data are the technologies that are going to help shape that. So do, do people at the top of, in, the, in the whole energy industry, do they get that? I think so, very much so. Especially after the pandemic, it became extremely clear that we're going to have to adopt these technologies because the energy transition has accelerated. So that implies a lot of change. Transformation has always changed. Mm -hmm. How do the people deal with that? So it is not only a technology change, it's also a cultural change, right? right? And it's, so it's, it's very much a step-by-step -step transition. The good news is AI is no longer exotic. It has become commonplace now, right? And people are seeing that it's foundational to what we want to do in the energy sector. So the adoption has already begun. Now it's a matter of upskilling our resources. So as AI creates new jobs, we have a workforce that is ready to work alongside AI. Is that because of ChatGPT? ChatGPT definitely changed the game, right? I mean, this time last year, it was not even in our vocabulary. And now, I mean, you know, my sixth grader knows all about it, knows how to use it. So definitely, it did accelerate the transition. So how does a company the size of Chevron, I mean, it's, it's massive, um, how does it adopt something that's, just in general, something that's brand new like that, where no one knows anything about it, and all of a sudden everyone's using it, and, but there's no control yet? That's a great question. So we are a company, we are a technology company at our core, and we are very much interested in adopting the latest and the greatest technologies. Now. Granted, as you just pointed out, this is something brand new, so we don't necessarily have the right regulations, right practices no in place. <laughs> Nobody does, so it's very new. So we are definitely looking at how do we adopt it and scale it within the company, within the right boundaries, within the right safety measures. So that is something that we are looking at. So now that the, the, the horse is out of the barn, if you will, like, like everybody's already using it, is it tough to kind of rein it in? So within the company, we have already put in some very good best practices and guidelines on how it needs to be used. So it is not here, go about you know using it free for all people. So that's not the approach that the company has taken. We did not want to take any of the extreme approaches. I know some companies have said, nope, we're not touching it you know, with a 10 foot pole. And there are others who are, might be just completely adopting it like the way it was rolled out. Um, within Chevron though, we are taking a very, very pragmatic and a very intentional approach to how to get the best out of the technology, but at the same time, using it with the right best practices in mind. Um, in the energy industry, cybersecurity is a big deal, mm -hmm. just in general. How does an industry that big with components that are that large deal with cybersecurity and, and those kinds of cyber risks? So safety and security are just fundamental to the energy industry, right? So data security is something that we take very seriously and we put in robust measures so that there are no breaches. And so cybersecurity is definitely top of mind. And both from a safety perspective as well as from a cybersecurity perspective, we have functions of excellence that are primarily tasked with ensuring that the company, the energy industry as a whole is protected. So a year from now, mm -hmm. we're sitting here having this conversation about technology. What will we be talking about? Great question. I wish I had that crystal ball. We had <laughs> so, it a year ago. <laughs> yeah, wish, exactly. So um, I think we're going to be hearing a lot more on augmented reality and how it is being, how it is really just being adopted in some of these heavy industries, if you may. Right. So we're talk, we'll be talking about facilities of the future and how industries such as the energy industry that has existed for over a century, how are they adopting it and really building energy 2.0, if you may. Well, I look forward to that conversation. Thank so, you so, so much. So do I. Uh, this is the AI Summit in New York.